Hi, I'd like to talk about the variant configuration process today. In my best practice server, I found this material that has a um, material type came up. KMAT is for configurable material and I tested this and before my uh, license of the server will expire I'd like to share this with you how does it look the material master in fact KMAT I hear came out do not need accounting view and I tested this but it seems it's not functioning so if uh, you uh, this one I haven't created this material but if you're gonna create material master I think uh, please try without the counting view costing view first if there's an error you might need it I hear it's not accounting view is not necessary This is ordinary uh, material that has a uh, configurable materials that says came up. And this came up has this stick here, material is configurable. And the classification uh, configurable material has to use 300. And it has this kind of setting. Sales order view, uh, nothing special. But the item category group is, I mean, standard delivery is. 2002 configuration nothing special and MLP view as, I, as it says it doesn't have a storage location specific data I think it's not uh, it's not in stock that's why it allows MLP and it is in-house and this one is the most important part strategy group 25 strategy group is assigned to a strategy and strategy strategy is OPPS 25 but unfortunately I need to change this setting because the setting is wrong and strategy group is putting a requirement type and requirement class and it doesn't have this setting correctly I need to amend it. The screen doesn't allow changing this part, so I have to uh, use another screen. Here I will use a menu pass on the series and distribution basic function and there's a transfer of requirement folder TOR and there's a requirement type and requirement class zero uh, and type is KK K 
AK is calling 046 and this is the screen we've been looking at over Z G. The configuration says plus that is the uh, configuration is mandatory and the costing part. This um, in fact it's in the neighborhood here on the account assignment costing. 046 and they really don't like to use uh, special stock indicator E but variant config I think it's uh, based on this one Condense O sales of the costing and it, it used to be I mean in the past, like 10 years ago, there's always uh, this entry. Result analysis key. I'm not going to use any specific things, I just use this one, sales order from the standard delivery. Let's check if it, uh, if it looks in the screens. Zero four six. SD one and now consumption is uh, activated. I mean pulled from uh, account assignment category. Configuration is mandatory and costing is now costing required costing ID uh, automatic costing and marking costing method so there's an uh, option we use a uh, unit costing but uh, I'm not sure about this one so I am just following the setting from uh, best practice and uh, costing variant PC4 we have just uh, selected the product costing so it has to be PPC4 if it is a unit costing I think it's this one PC04 for unit costing let's check this once again Twenty five. Now we see these keys and the configurable material. Configuration is mandatory. So for this part, it seems okay. Not before. It is calling individual requirements. I think it's about the sales order stock. Mark scheduling because we will have a uh, production order. Not sure what are what are the settings for this. Plant data. Storage condition. Hmm. Decides the storage location at the picking. Counting view, I think um, we don't need it, but uh, at least we need to assign valuation class. In that case, well, we will need this uh, uh, view. But this cost, I mean, standard price, after all, this is not being used. So I wonder why this is he here. Okay, so this is the material. And if 
before we see the bomb uh, there are other settings I want to change before this demo the cost of goods sales account it's in the material master material management sorry material management and valuation and account assignment The automatic postings is here. In the documentation of this explains the cost of sales account. Cost of goods sold account is usually GBB or v GBBVAX and if account base COPA is activated it will change to VAY but all this time sales order costing uses GBBVKA for sales order account assignment but uh, from the previous demo it seems SAP has changed this setting and it was using this VAY and I found how to rectify this it's on the movement type and the cost of goods sold movement type is 601 So we're gonna use uh, special stock E. So these are the keys, and it is pointing at the VAY on consumption V. So this has to be changed to VKA. SAP keeps changing this setting and they break the functionality, so I am changing it back. So this one is, I'm saving it here. The consumption, yes, I, f I skipped the uh, one screen. The In the requirement class, there's a account assignment category. It's uh, under MM. Uh, I'm uh, using this transaction code and transaction code account assignment category has this key here and it has consumption posting E special stock E and the sales order number is mandatory This is the second thing I needed to change. There's one more thing I need to change. It's an item categories assignment here. Um, I think I should show you why I'm changing this. I did some testing entry company called currency so ultimately the cost collected on sales of the line will be and for revenue settled to COPA cost in the COPA and if I use this CBTC sales quantity is not settled here and sales cost estimate are not also transferred to COPA so I need to change it to this conventional item category
you see the zero, triple zero 002 has these settings but I don't know why but this best practice use this one so I, ne I need to change it back to the conventional one this setting now it makes sense higher level category TAC or TAM means they got to be TAC and TAM here so this makes sense before it doesn't it was not making sense what are the difference about these item categories the problem is This item cut the item type A that is value item. If it is a value item, it doesn't settle. I mean, transfer the quantity to this quantity to cost invest COPA. And if we look at the TAC. It's not there. So be careful if you use this item category with value item that sales, quanti sales quantity will not be transferred to COPA. Right, and the bombs. Before uh, processing, uh, you may want to know what the uh, what are uh, bombs looks like. It's a it's a forklift. It has a combustion model or electric model model counterweight or cushion tire or pneumatic tires. And it has this OD tick here. This is the key actually. We'll check this entry later on. But if we look at this one, it has a script. So comb combustion model is selected. The line item on the bomb, this one will be used. The same way electric model. Electric model is selected. This line will be uh, selected. And same applies for um, routing. There's a um, tick named object dependencies. And if we, if we look at the first line, right, um, assignment and dependency object. So it seems PLPO standard value number three or standard number, standard value number three, count to it. Um, I don't have a good explanation about this. This is a setting from uh, provide the server and the best practice and the second line doesn't have this object dependency third one third line has the same script I think it is the same object dependent with dependency right and before doing this, uh, since I'm gonna run the MLP, we need to create the production version. So please look at my earlier movie, I have uploaded the movie.
production version we have. So we name this name of production version and uh, what we do is just assign routing group and alter I mean number home na uh, alternative number. Without this, uh, MLP doesn't work today. Now, so we're set to create the sales order. Customer purchase order number. Now we have a configuration screen. So what are the battery capacity? F4. One hundred forty ampere and lift uh, model F four. Let's try heavy duty F two. Power source F four um, electric F two. Wheel type F four. Pneumatic F two. Counterweight F four, the heaviest one. F2 Fork size F4 Try this large one F2 And enter So Let's check the Let's check the Pricing So it calculates something here Condition hmm. counterweight plus two hundred dollar large fork plus one hundred and fifty dollar okay Now we see uh, availability control. Basically, we don't have a stock. Uh, let me check. Enter. Enter. Right, so the item category TAC is used. Equipment is calling uh, requirement type KEK. Group 001 consists of only one item. I only uh, entering a one delivery. Nothing special. And configuration, I think we've seen. No, we don't see any difference. Right, and uh, let's check the line item. Let's see, say. USB. Conditions. Okay. Now we have uh, price here that was maintained in VK12 or VK11. It is. Uh, it corresponds to PR00. And this one, these two. So these are uh, additional costs, I mean price, 
this price what are these so basically we selected uh, additional uh, option so it is asking uh, additional price um, if we look at the uh, conditions the selling price and So these are selected. PBA zero, PBA one. Um, it's only PBA zero. In the standard delivery, it is a VA00 that has a variant name. And the table name is 057. A057 has the table. This variant, um, I think it has to be uh, configured or set up up front and uh, there's a key somewhere I'm uh, sorry I don't remember the I, uh, I don't remember. Yeah, there, there's a um, transaction to set up this uh, uh, bar variant configuration, variant ski. And is that it? Okay. So, account assignment. way since uh, we are using a uh, sales order costing we have to do that costing enter And save and mark. Do you want to mark now? Yes. You need to mark it. You cannot deliver the goods. So let's check the incompletion check. And save.
Okay, seven four fifty seven has been saved. Let's check if the requirement is triggered. So seven four fifty seven here minus one means means uh, one is required. And I'd like to check the subcomponents. This time electric probably this is a um, garbage data. So the requirement has not to come through. In fact, uh, this best practice setting, the subcomponents all has an one setting, so there will be no requirement coming. The this is external procurement and. All these components has this indicator. Two means it only allows collective requirements. That means plant stock. So in this case, we don't need to. You don't need to do the uh, procurement even after MLP. I think there will be no requirement coming through. And. The Stock is 96. There's a there's enough. There's plenty. Count the weight. I think it's garbage data. And the pneumatic. Um, garbage data and 84 stock is there and then the E shows so 84 stock This four means reserve. Uh, I fail to follow the correct process, so this reserve reservation uh, remained. We'll come to that later. So let's run the MLP. Production MLP variation or planning. Okay, sorry, planning. Um, there's a MD50 for sales order. I think the program behind it is the same. It's just the uh, selection is different. This one for uh, production uh, each for each production and this one so uh, material and this one is for sales order the option supposed to be one three one three the strongest but here the screen seems one three three one they want to show material list we have to hit enter twice to run MLP once twice Now 
now uh, planned orders created, dependent requirements created. This means, I think, reservation. So subcomponents were not processed. Because all, all subcomponents are collective requirement. That means plant stock. And refresh it. We have planned order here. See the subcomponents. Only dependent requirement created. And to wait. Dependent requirement alone. Dependent requirement alone. There's no purchase requisition. Uh, it's because it's, uh, it's a plant. It's gonna. It has to use uh, plant stock. So we do the uh, building of the product. we do we just convert the production order or the pl planned order to production order so this is the planned order number since this best practice has certain order type they want to use and uh, I'd rather stay with their setting uh, shop floor order so we have a selection of a collective or one by one planned order number is this one I'll leave it blank Converting a planned order to production order. It uses uh, this order type and it is attached to this sales order number. Sales order number, production version. So let's save it. thousand two hundred twenty saved now it has a uh, operation I think one line is uh, not selected components There's no combustion or cushion tire. Right, and we need to release it. We can release it here, but I uh, just want to stick to the collective manner, collective fashion. Collective. X 
executed and it's gone. So it's now released. And we will start the building using the confirmation. So now the planned order is changed to production order. Confirmation is CO 11N. In fact, the SAP only t told me this one. I don't know anything else. And the operation enter. Right. Two thousand two hundred twenty. If we press this actual data, it calculates the uh, labor or work hour according to the uh, quantity. And usually, I do goods movement here, but we don't see it here. Why? Because the routing do not have a back flash flag, we need to uh, issue goods at the Migo. I'm going to explain what this is about. Uh, in routing, this is the operation and uh, uh, component allocation. There's this B here, but it doesn't have tick. B means back flashing. So this back flashing flag is ticked. We can do the goods issue here. In fact, this has nothing to do with the uh, back flash functionality. There's another co function called MBT something back flashing, and it's a separate functionality. But uh, if we tick this, uh, it creates the reservation and then we can do the goods movement. It's goods movement here. It's about the goods movement functionality. And even if we want to change it, the funny thing is we cannot change it here. To change it, we need to new assign. Then we can change it. Well, I'm not uh, going to save it here because I want to also show the standard way using, uh, I mean, without this one. Same group, no. So before doing this, we need to issue goods at the first operation. Migo is a um, good issue to order. I think we should come out from the screen. Let's do it later. The order number, enter. So reservation is created. So all these subcomponents are, are derived automatically. And we need to tick OK. The first line tick is here. Check. Post.
display and the counting entry counting document so entry change um, basically there's issue to um, production order and uh, consumption this one should be consumption side to order it's a good issue to the order I didn't follow this uh, process so the reservation did not uh, disappeared. I still have this garbage one. This one because I did not follow this this one. So if there is a reservation we should use reservation. Yeah that's uh, garbage data. Let's see the order cost so all consumption I think right let's continue the confirmation I think when the goods issued, the status has uh, this one, GMPS. GMPS means goods movement posted. And the operation went up. Up to data button and final confirmation. We don't have a reservation here because we didn't have a backflash flag. Okay, let's save it. Saved and I think the status here will change for the first operation. Confirmed. Level. Now it says something, so we first do the sequence one. Actual data. And final confirmation. Save. Oh, now this time it's about the sequence zero. That is this one. Final confirmation. And this one. Saved. Confirmation. 
application. And the order is also confirmed. We have to also do the Migo to warehouse. It used to be MB31 and MB31 is abolished, it's gone. And now it, it is Migo. But uh, let's let us check the host report. And there hasn't been a change. Cannot be helped, so let's do the final Migo to order. This is a mandatory process and goods receipt. This time goods receipt. Up and this is um, so this time it has a special sto uh, sales order stock indicator here. Check and the storage location. Uh, sorry, uh, I thought there's a um, sales order number. It's not there. Okay, post. Display counting entry is. It's uh, inventory finished goods. Right, order to inventory. See your document. Order to STI. This means sales order document, sales order stock. I assigned the uh, five number. And uh, our valuation class seven nine two E. Right, so what this means, um, oh, let us first check the. No, there are a couple of things we need to check. The final goods receipt changes the status to de delivered. Delivered to warehouse, I think. And uh, delivered to warehouse. In the operation, there's a um, tag, quantity, quantity, that shows the actual confirmed. Uh, work over and uh, confirm the yield. That means uh, uh, finished goods completed. The stock is under sales order stock, unrestricted, and it is assigned to sales order. And uh, we need to check the cost. Right, so we haven't created any variance, so plus minus zero on production order. 
this line is created at the final goods receipt also right so product uh, planned order is production order disappeared and now there's one stock for this sales order and uh, there's a transaction called MBBS This report has also um, stock here because the sales uh, sales stock sales valuated stock uh, it doesn't come to the plant stock. The table name is different. This is coming from. It's not coming from MBEW. It is coming from EBEW. For this reason, it's better you assign a separate valuation class. Sometimes uh, GL, GL amount and uh, MBEW amount does not uh, tie in. stock zero. Why? Because it's under um, EBEW. Oh, this many. Uh, this one, the last one. to the stock until this is delivered it's there so even though the standard price in the material master was 4000 it says $3,850 this is a sales variety stock Right, so so we deliver the goods. Deliver. All that cannot be delivered. No schedule lines due for delivery up to the selected date. This message usually comes because the planned uh, completion date is away. Still, we can post it on today. Storage location, uh, it's I think this one. Usually we have to enter the picked amount, but this one says not relevant for picking. They did some kind of uh, configuration, probably for uh, movement type. The picking is not necessary, that's possible. So let's uh, post good issue. Delivery saved.
Goods issue posted. Six O one E Counting document. So finish the goods less. And this one is the cost of goods sold with a saw. I usually create five accounts, but uh, this time SAP created this account. So I'm using it. Sales order with cost element. So both are posted to sales order line. This means we can see it in a report on sales order. Like this one. Why do we see it twice? It's a balance sheet account. It's a value type 11 statistical entry. 4 is actual. And this account setting. This one, account setting. And uh, VKA, GBB VKA. I'm talking about this uh, GBB. So I created variation class 792E and assigned this one. VKA, not VAY. I keep changing the setting and break the functionality. Right, um, the, this is the order. We have delivered the uh, goods, so let's do the billing too. And the billing date, let's do it today and save. Saved and counting uh, counting document eight thousand one thousand. So the first line is the account receivable line, customer line. Revenue side both posted on to SDI since all the line. This means we can do it in uh, sales order report like this one. Revenue, revenue, and the cost. Only look, please look at only four actual value. There's also another report called KKBC KUN.
out the revenue is 9,000 the cost of goods sold is 3,800 inventory is 0 so it's uh, plus minus 0 this one, this one Right, and this uh, MLP. Okay, this sales order disappears. So this SAP guy created this many sales order. He couldn't finish it, but I finish it. He didn't have a right setting. So we have to do the. Uh, settlement result analysis and settlement uh, but first we have to do it by order so production order since production order is already completed it's not in working process so we can only do variance and the settlement. Although there's no variance, there, there's nothing to post error. Order does not have status delivery. 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 Oh, I think it's eleven uh, November. Right, this time uh, it calculates no barriers. So let's uh, do the calculation. Then we should have a status. No, I think I have a, uh, forgot to update it. Test run. Uh, I mean, update run. Then we should have um, recall. Yes, variance calculated. And uh, Settlement, although there's nothing to settle. No errors. Send uh, zero. Receiver zero. Let's do the update run. No, uh, with no errors. Send up. Receiver. Accounting document. There's no accounting document. There's no variance. So this is the production order, although the status hasn't changed at the settlement. This one means settlement rule, so it's not a, it's a different from settlement, uh, settlement itself. Okay, so before we do the month end on sales order, uh, I want to show we can post costs on the sales order line. Uh, I don't remember the sales order number. Eight. 
in FP60, for example. Then uh, it can be anything, and uh, invoice. Okay, so fifty nine dollar. It has to be a um, specific account that is set, um, set up in the uh, result analysis uh, and uh, settlement. In that. Why as an assignment to a CO object? Let's see object. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we can enter a sales order number here instead of cost center, profit center. Tax jurisdiction key. So. I wonder how many of FICO consultants know this functionality. You can post costs on the sales order line. It's not only cost center, profit center. Simulate. Post. Right, and it's posted original document, no, accounting document. It's posted to SDI, sales order line. This can also be reported in KVDI. Deny here. So any cost like a total cost or logistics cost, we can directly post to series of the line and set it to COPA. And uh, another report to KBCKUN fifty nine dollar. Same. Okay, and now the period end on sales order. Since it's being uh, sold, we can do the result analysis. I mean, we have to do it. The result analysis uh, tells if it is uh, not still sold, it should be whip. If it's sold, it should be cost of goods sold. Bember and like this. Hmm, this one is one by one. I want to try a uh, collective mana. Okay, so let's run it for test run. The result analysis. Usually we have to save it, but uh, this is collective process. We don't. We should not save it one by one. It should update it collectively. Uh, process. Let's see, this is uh, saved onto the table. Uh, 
and the uh, order number is seven four five seven seven four five seven so it is saved value type is thirty two that is result analysis. is the cost which I posted on the in FB60 so this cost element 31 category 31 these are the result analysis cost element which has to be I mean, at the settlement this account will be used mm, no, no what is the settlement account well we we'll see This is a table name. Okay, so result analysis is saved. And we can do the settlement. Test run. No errors. So these lines are uh, separated. Well, uh, let's uh, look into this setting later on since this is a variant configuration footage. Um, there's a setting. We'll come to that later on. Right, this is the sender revenue and uh, other cost, the material cost is set all to somewhere PSG and settlement cost is this one 21 921 okay let's do the update run no errors And that, the same see bar the same and the counting entry used to be a CO internal transfer now we have a counting entry here it only creates the garbage data And this one is from STI to PSG profitability segment. So we should see it in profitability analysis. Customer code, so ship to party, product, and we see a sales quantity, this is important. Other cost fifty nine dollar record type is C F or C F is billing data C is settlement hmm. let's see it in uh, PA report Okay, it's a uh, line item report. Five, seven, this is the line. Uh, let's limit the currency to company code currency so I did a lot of uh, testing entry I 
item category TAC the first one didn't have a series quantity this one I did the other cost separately so it didn't have a sales quantity even in the same month you can do the posting even after settlement settlement knows additional entry without analysis I think uh, you don't need to delete it you just uh, run result analysis in the settlement then it remembers the delta portion So sales quantity is not known, so it doesn't know the sales cost estimate here. And the cost seems different according to the option. That means this is collecting the actual amount of the subcomponents. So the accounting view, there's a price there on this one it's not being used and there's um, other cost here okay so this is the production make to the process Now we need to see what was the setting behind. We come to quickly uh, roughly about this one object dependency and uh, the variant configuration uh, first thing we have to do is assign profile uh, configuration profile to the material object dependency is here and this one material and if we look at this I'm gonna double click on it there's a dependency also here and this profile controls if it is using the processing classic or advanced seems just a limitation and this has the assignment I think we've seen this in the material master and profile uh, but it configuration profile has the class so what is this class That's in cross application and classification class. Right, being processed, so we can only display it. The first uh, class is this one, and this one has the characteristics I think we should go through these characteristics one by one lifter model Single value and uh, heavy duty standard, the rest is nothing. Power source, single value. 
combustion model or electrical model wheel type cushion tires or pneumatic tires that is a fixed body Counterweight Kilogram Fork size More normal large right and uh, next characteristics uh, class next class is uh, reference characteristics right blocked display Anything else? Uh, so it's only characteristics. Variant condition. So this one is referring to a table name. This is important. V code. Slim condition type. SP, STPO quantity STPO menge its quantity Oh by the way um this Descriptions uh, seems this button allows uh, entry, and if we take this additional values, I uh, hear it allows additional entry to this value. I mean, this one referring to this table, right? So the last one. Additional characteristics for electrical forklift. Uh, hmm. Anything else? So there's only characteristics. This is uh, power ampere. Right. So these are the characteristics entry and so these are the characteristics and uh, we see this in this material master. Yeah, but uh, this is not the uh, all actually, and uh, we have to talk about the uh, object dependency. Is this one? 
for example if we look at this uh, bomb line there's an object dependency assigned and uh, the dependency name is advanced object dependency combustion model and I noticed there were some entries using advanced but the profile configuration profile only using classic so this part of this was not functioning well so I changed it only to classic and the object dependency has uh, this script Uh, script means uh, in this case ABC CR CR means characteristics power source is combustion is selected then this line should be selected in this case the object dependency type is selection condition other condition uh, type like uh, procedure this one uh, is for calculating uh, price condition or the probably um, uh, work hour or labor hour precondition is like uh, uh, when you input the, uh, when you do the configuration at the sales or the entry you refer to some tables uh, you limit some values on, uh, only to relevant to relevant uh, options should be allowed. This kind of a control should be preconditioned, and this has to be selected. Let's see the other line assignment. Same way, selection condition and if characteristics power source is electric only this line should be selected I mean it's not only this line should be selected it's like a XOR relation the third one Now it says procedure. Uh, STPO routing uh, line item quantity is something. Uh, there's a division, counterweight division. Some kind of a formula here. Now it was procedure. Of course, we, you can see it in the bomb. Uh, if you double click here the same uh, script you can see but uh, we need to see the relation so I'm showing this assignment uh, C tire cushion tire only right this is selection condition if Wheel type characteristics soil type C is selected. This cushion tire is selected. Next one tire pneumatic. Selection condition same way. Characteristic wheel type P pneumatic is selected, then this pneumatic component should be selected. The same. And uh, this bomb side, uh, there's another entry here K is class item. It seems this has some setting here. I don't have a good explanation on this. And this one class it says 200 is used. Uh, 
and it is choosing something the subcomponents and uh, we were talking about the class no sorry object dependency but uh, class right it has to be 200 so usually the configure uh, variant configuration has to be 200 300 so 200 the usage is like this 200 300 and 200 I mean, should be assigned to the bomber items. This characteristics for wings. I think this one we've seen. Anything else? Hmm. Default item category. Let's check the characteristics once again. Is We've seen this somewhere. So this kind of a usage here. And uh, this also has object dependency. Fork links. Again, calculation is using procedure, so not sure the meaning. And the routing side is also the same exactly the same there's a uh, OD here o assignment calc labor well, this one uh, is something I have uh, uh, done the play around Initially, this was. After all, it seems not functioning. This one was originally this one, and I was using advanced, but uh, since classic is uh, allowed, yes, some kind of a setting and data here. Yeah? So I thought this is the garbage one. I created this, but. Uh, it's not still working. Not sure how this will work. The second line doesn't have uh, object dependency. That one assignment Combustion only, that's something we've already seen uh, using the same selection condition. The last one. This is also the same. Selection condition. If it is uh, power source is electricity, this line should be selected. So this way. And uh, this uh, false line. There's a button saying object dependency, but uh, I think I've seen this somewhere. Yeah. 
And if we look at the, the tab, or well, all this time you have object dependency assignment. I think oh the same. There are folk links the same place. And among this uh, object dependency, uh, there's plenty, and uh, probably characteristics for restriction or elec. Precondition. Right, I have did uh, some study uh, in advance, and there are some uh, interesting script. Calc price. C counterweight. Right, counterweight. It has this uh, characteristics ST condition. And this one was, uh, we didn't know where this was uh, assigned. And uh, it seems it is assigned to a profile and it is working fine. We double, co double click on it, it's dependency here. So we also got this many uh, dependency assigned. Initially, only this one was assigned and the rest I have assigned. Now it seems the price condition is working. So let's check what's in it. Calc price counterweight. So now this is the procedure again. And, uh, This is referring to a uh, stcon vcond, something we've seen, and set pricing factor function. I hear this one is to calculate the pricing for uh, based on some uh, quantity. This kind of a uh, uh, calculation, they have this functionality. And let's see the. This one, this one is uh, in standard. Usually, the condition type is PA00, but it is using. Uh, I mean, this practice created this one. It's really confusing. And uh, so, ABC counterweight means this one. So I don't have a good explanation about this. This is the script. And other one. Hook links. Uh, this one, I think uh, this one in the, is in a uh, bomb. Uh, we've seen. But uh, from uh, sequence, this has to be determined. Uh, it's, it's, uh, 1200, 1800 has to be uh, determined quite early stage, so I assign this here. Again, procedure. And this one also looking at the uh, SD com precond. If it is uh, fork size is large, uh, ABC large fork is used. Large fork. Short fork is small fork. 
is minus 120. This will come to a um, condition calculation. That's in uh, configuration profile. Current price, current weight. Mm. Is this the one we've seen at the beginning? Yes. Set pricing factor. Yes, I also assigned it here. Calc C labor. This means counter weight uh, labor. I think this may not be working. I created the uh, number two to remove this M data, but it doesn't still work. And this one, unfortunately, even if we do the syntax check here, error free. There's no error. So we don't know if it is right or wrong. But it's not functioning. And this one, uh, last one, uh, it says advanced body, uh, body and configuration procedure. Not sure what it is doing, <coughs> but it seems it's not functioning since it is using an, uh, body and advanced functionality and that is not allowed. Not sure what this is for. Allowed for um, this configuration profile. See this says classic. I think this button goes to the same place. Right, so these are the configuration profile. I was talking um, yeah like this one seems referring to table A V C V T so it allows to refer to table is in the two table structure and to think what you see what you do is uh, assign characteristics and uh, Players, if it is a key field or not. And the contents is here. Yeah. This is for uh, input control under certain parts you do not have certain option then that kind of a control you should refer to this table and uh, configuration there's a simulation functionality We'll do this. Uh, let us make sure we have covered this one. For oh, these, I don't have an explanation. Um, okay, so the simulation. Uh, 
and uh, what it does is we s we do the sim simulation uh, we can check the setting up front So, how do we do um, pricing? So, we have this button, and uh, what we see is only this variant uh, conditions, variant name, or five pieces or one pieces simulation function, and the components wise is out probably this one or this one so they say we can see if the component is selected selected or not uh, I don't have a good explanation on this Yeah, this is uh, for your information, simulation functionality. Right, so I think I have covered for a variant configuration part. Right, pricing, uh, procedure, condition type setting. And uh, pricing procedure. I think uh, we, we should first start from uh, current uh, sales order. For example, the one we've just posted. And the uh, conditions. So here it's uh, calculated costs. We didn't see it when we entered the sales order. And these price conditions, since best practice uh, created its own uh, condition type, it's sometimes we have to uh, take it, this one is this, this one is this, and uh, BA00, sometimes PBA0. Uh, there's no PBA1, this one mistake. PPR0 is PL00, what you have in standard delivery. And usually, calculated cost is EK02, but it says PC02. And these things are in pricing procedure. If you look at the analysis, the pricing procedure is Y17J01. Oh, this is PBA1 here. Not sure what the, what information we got. And uh, yeah, we had the uh, one screen. Yes, pricing procedure. And uh, condition types. They have the same setting, so maybe I should show you.
Uh, same as the PL00. And the EK01 or EK02 stuff. Actual cost, uh, calculated costs. EK02. And we are using a uh, is this uh, PC02 that corresponds to EK02 we didn't see any difference right and the uh, variable condition variant price it seems variant price uh, V01 is for quantity Sorry, zero one is percentage, double zero is quantity. And use its access sequence VA double zero. Not much of a difference. VA double zero. And this uh, best practice uses this one. There's no difference except for some text control. VA1 Yeah, and this is assigned to a pricing procedure. Usually I check it from here. This one. Uh, I took a copy. And uh, check the pricing procedure. No, it's gone. Okay, uh, probably this one. So this uh, actual cost is here. That corresponds to EK01. Uh, PPR0 price. PR00 is here. VA0 that corresponds to VA00, VA01. So these are the special special part about special conditions, which is uh, specific to variance configuration. And uh, PC02, PC02 is here. Manual, statistical, and uh, subtotal. B means uh, it is sending uh, information to cost. I think for credit uh, management block, uh, it has to be A. That's what I learned. So this is a pricing procedure. Result analysis series of the settlement setting and uh, some of you seem to like to know the setting. Uh, I have uploaded the movie for COPA uh, but uh, quickly uh, let's go through this. It's on the, it's on the uh, controlling. Product cost control and uh, sales order costing, result analysis, and uh, settlement.
without analysis keys, this is just a key. And uh, this one, oh, uh, the cost element category 31, it's in the documentation. Without analysis versions, uh, just created this one. It's a technical result analysis cost element. And the variation methods. In fact, this is the most uh, difficult part about the result analysis, but uh, I just created this uh, for just copying the zero area triple zero one. And I select this variation at line ID level to split the uh, posting, revenue, and uh, material, and uh, other cost. And the line ID is ah, this one. Added, I, uh, I have added other cost, PPV. like this assignment for result analysis and for this uh, it's basically a cost element that the uh, costs are posted and assigned to whether it goes to uh, uh, value field which value field other cost or material or purchase price variance or revenue Usually we just uh, see the reports and we see the error message when do the result analysis or settlement. Uh, I just pick them up and uh, this one is actually the difficult, most difficult part. And this one, uh, something you have to do, uh, uh, you have to learn, I mean, do and run. And I have set E, I mean E, e as uh, revenue K as cost. And E only requires this one, 100. So I created this 31 uh, cost element category, 31 cost elements, 100, and assign uh, 301 to the material. It, it requires brand new cost elements for this line. So you have to create three lines for this, or you can use uh, some lines. Uh, COS ribbon reserves can accept the same uh, cost element, I think. Others to 303, PPV for 302, this way, 31. Posting rules for settlement. Uh, this one actually uh, just uh, posting to um, FI. And one side should not have a cost element and uh, entry. Oh, sorry, one seven one zero. One side is uh, inventory. That means whip. And this, I think, the reserved revenue. I think. Number range, it's a number range. And uh, that's it. Right, settlement profile. Uh, now we're gonna talk about the settlement profile. I just used SD1 in the requirement class. And uh, it allows profitability segment, settlement to profitability segment. Nothing much, I just uh, use the standard one and it use allocation structure A1 and the transport structure E1. Nothing much. And settlement cost elements. Actually, this one is a cost element category 21. And allocation structure is A1. And uh, in the COPA movie, I used uh, number 60 for cost of goods sold, but uh, I thought about it 
and I use this number 20 for uh, material price in this scenario so you don't have to follow this just uh, if we consider the minimum uh, change for the standard setting I think uh, we can use this one although this description is rather confusing it's not only about the material consumption if it is a stock value then we can use it so I deleted uh, 60 uh, you don't have to follow this and my approach is I created these uh, post element group basically whatever cost that uh, we see as an error we assign it here and this allocation structure what it does is it requires settlement cost element so revenues uh, 50 is this one the original account and uh, without analysis account 100 and the uh, settlement cost is uh, 21 and the material I have moved this to here uh, 20 is this one uh, inventory change cost on uh, cost of goods sold account uh, the VKA and the result analysis account and uh, 21 cost element and the uh, other cost 30 uh, the post uh, cost here and the result analysis account and the uh, uh, settlement cost element and the PPV variance account 70 uh, result analysis account in the original account under PLD, PLA or PLD or UMB and settlement cost limit 102 so this is the uh, allocation structure and uh, exactly the same structure in cost element group has PA transfer structure and it is E1 when you do the posting from FI, the direct posting to COPA is PFI. So we want to uh, away. Uh, we want to avoid using this one, and that's the reason we use this standard one E1. And uh, this one is important. You have to take this quant build quantity and assign it to value field quantity value field. Then you can settle the sales quantity, build the quantity to COPA. But this has the same, exactly the same structure, so we can use the same cost element group actually. Build quantity, and uh, this goes to, right, it doesn't have a source, but it is, uh, you have to assign it to sales quantity value field that's something you decide actually personal cost I'm not using it right the same way I used to have uh, 60 for cost of goods sold and I, uh, I have moved it to 20 maybe I should start from revenue revenue sales amount source is this 150 Regional revenue account and the result analysis account. Value fields, it goes to Aros. And the revenue and material, that's number 20, is number 20. Original cost of goods sold account and the result analysis account goes to uh, stock value VPRPRS. And the uh, other cost is 
30 is 30 is that an original account and value field I created this value field WBOTH other cost and the variance 70 and the result analysis that goes to the value uh, value field that we create right and this is um, settlement this comes from settlement but uh, sales order cost estimate we settle that that's in profitability analysis in master data and the valuation and uh, yes valuation strategy and uh, yeah to send us a cost estimate we need to have this and uh, sales order cost estimate settlement is this one point of valuation zero one and record type uh, C and uh, we use this same uh, valuation strategy now uh, we need to create the uh, access key and uh, we created this for sales order cost estimate this is something you can see in my movie and we select the sales of the cost estimate yeah, we cannot select this one and don't tick the controlling area currency we have a problem at the foreign currency at yeah blank I mean blank but this exclusive access this may be necessary and the uh, the usual product costing is this one and uh, we recommend this one number four cost estimate matching goods issue date this is uh, the most important part use line item plant cost estimate plant and the cost invariant uh, in fact it has to be PYC1 in this case because they created the PYC1 although I don't recommend to create a cost invariant please use always the same one PPC1 yeah, that it's always causing the error and I don't recommend to use this cost controlling area currency this twists the translation and it causes the headache but exclusive may be necessary and this has to be assigned to this one costing key uh, KEPC and in here we yeah let's see the value so if the uh, costing variant is PPC1 we assign K1 here this one is uh, what is this consumption posting yeah C and uh, E and the PPC then KD1 and the uh, yeah, table structure is this way consumption posting cost invariant and the uh, second costing key the second one cost estimate usual one and the uh, billing data type strategy 01 the plant in the external procurement, sorry, in house or X and the strategy 001 for plant. And the table structure is this way material type fiat, is it? Fiat. And next one is probably this one coming from cost component structure and 
the since we have a number two sales of the cost met in number two uh, kd1 comes here and kd double zero one comes here assigned to this uh, body field so and as i mean uh, production startup i think uh sorry not this one it's going somewhere yeah activate profitability analysis here this one you can see it in my movie so i think i've covered the settlement part too okay that's it Thanks for watching.